All right, y'all, coming at you with another tip, strategy, and call out video, this time on Narrows. So, Narrows CTF, we're going to cover Narrows CTF and Narrows Team Slayer. Let's go over the call outs first. The flag. This is Red's base, it's the lighter base. So, this is where Red spawns. You spawn in Red Lobby, okay? Now, first call, this is going to be Red Stage. This is Red Cannon, Cannon Stage, Red Cannon. That's the Cannon Lift, obviously. And this is Lobby, Left Box. Our left attic, our right attic, our right box, our afro, our mohawk. This is L1. This is L0, this area, L0. L1, R1 is on the right side, obviously, the inverse. Left pocket or top left, L2, L3, obviously the reverse for the right. Their mohawk. And then you go into their lobby, obviously, it's, the, it's just. Narrows, the call outs are just mirrored, right? For the other team, and then for you, you just use your left and right directions, right? Then you can go down, you call this rockets, and then their dip, people call this dip in between these ramps, L2 and R2. Their dip, R dip, their snipe, their left shoulder, right shoulder. Usually call this flag door around here. Maybe you call this flag pocket, or you just flag door hiding, or like flag, flag door is, is, is enough to know that it could be around here. Cannon door. And then cannon power up, and fly power up, and then the power up is because this is where fl power up spawn and matchmaking, and then their flag, fly box, and then back flag. So it pretty much covers everything. Just make sure, obviously, you know that you gotta understand the calls are mirrored if you're the other team, and it, it's pretty easy to understand calls on this map. So, but let's talk about strategy, right? On this game type, it's a bit different than Halo used to be because of this new FOV and like you can kill these guys cannoning and whatnot. But in, on Narrows. And usually all maps, the team that's more aggressive is the team that wins, right? When you're aggressive on this map, you spawn your teammates. You can spawn your teammates up top right here instead of all the way in the back flag corner and all the way in the back cannon corner. And when you do that, that just allows them to die and get into another fight as soon as possible and push the enemy team back into the back of their base so they can't get the advantage on the can't get map control, can't get the advantage on the map. So you gotta understand that going up top is usually gonna be your best play. You wanna try to stop the other enemy team from getting top control and try to stop them from crossing at the 50 yard, mar yard mark at rockets, and if especially if rockets are up, or at the muller. You just wanna stop them. You wanna nade their, their, their ramps and whatnot, right? So when you finally get up top control, you can you know send you can send a guy your teammates down low pushing their snipe, but you can usually want to come over here to these areas and just fuck just keep them back in their base right as much as you can. You want to push their lobby so they can't get back up to their top control, their left attic, their right attic, and try to try to get them no shields. But obviously, don't over challenge it. But that's going to be your main play is to keep them keep them back out of their lobby. If you don't think you're going to have help though, you can try to make a decision to jump into to come down towards snipe. Or maybe also come to the, the shock. This is called shockwave, by the way. Left shockwave and right shockwave. You can drop down into the power up if you think you're going to be. You, your teammates just died and you need to buy more time at the enemy base hunt for them to hunt you down. You know, them to waste time on you. You want to go in the power up and do a flank. Just try not to fight anybody. You come down low and you just try to stay alive, right? Try, just trying to hide from people and make sure you don't get into any engagements. Sometimes I like to hide here on the left, right here, or right here if I'm like gonna be by myself, right? So you can do that. Decide to either fight up top if you have help, if you have more, you know, one on one. If not, like hide. You, you can hide here, you can jump over flag, you can flank around flag if they didn't see you. You know, it all depends on if you, they called you out or not. Make your decision based on that. But for the most time, you know, you want to try to uh, fight guys in their lobby and keep them out of their lobby so you have better map control up top center. And if you get rockets, usually you want to play them right down here. If they come down the ramp or ramp, or you can play them at the flag doors or whatever. If you have rockets, it's really good for them to, you know, obviously the, their, the best places rocks are used. They're not top center. They're used down here on these small angled parts of the map, like right here where you can just shoot them right behind, hit a, hit a splash damage on the wall and kill them. So there's the general idea for for, uh, arrows and if you're the, the only other like decisions you can make is when the enemy is spawn if you're if you have teammates already pushing up on this part of the map that means that they're probably gonna the enemy team's probably gonna spawn cannon side but if your teammates aren't really across this area on the map yet set safe for flag 
They're pro enemy team's probably going to spawn flag side, so you got to watch that, especially for narrow CTF. Watch if they're going to spawn their flag, so you don't just get averaged jumping trying to get a flag pull on guys that are hiding behind this box or hiding back flag. You make sure you want to push up top into their lobby to get those guys weak, to have your other teammates converging on the other side of the map so you can get that flag pull. So basically this, it's the same idea, you know, just try to control the enemy's Mohawk and the enemy's L3 and R3 for Team Slayer. And, you know, when you start just controlling their base, once you get weak, you can just start backing up, back up to the base, try to go for a flank or whatever, and then you'll just pretty much always have map control of the enemy team's base because you'll keep spawning at that afro that I told you, at your Mohawk, and you'll be able to just fly to top center again. So the only other pretty much piece of advice I could give you for strategy-wise is pretty much deciding when to man cannon, okay? When to use this man cannon. I like to use the man cannon when I know that the enemy team is all full speed ahead at, in my lobby and they're going to get map control of my base. So there's really no point of going over here and fighting them because they're probably, you know, over 50% chance to win. And sometimes you want to choose this, this battle. There are, are times, obviously, but when you think they have a ton of map control, don't even try to fight them there. Don't meet them halfway over here in, their, in your own lobby. Meet them halfway or do something different. Go to their cannon and get behind them. It's like it's on. It's like uh, like a different map. Instead of just fighting them straight up, you try to get behind them to the enemy base. Try to get flanks. Try to spread out your team instead of fighting them where they want uh, you to fight them. Makes sense. So the only other way that you need to be careful when you cannon. Sometimes you want to cannon to just kill that sniper if he's pushing top center. But the other times is when. Like I said, your ma your base control is going to be overran, and you don't want to fight that fight. And the, but the only other thing that I would consider when man cannoning is if they're going to spawn up and shoot you when they're spawning their cannon. If they're just going to cannon over and die, sometimes I wouldn't make that decision. I like to know where everyone is before I just or do that, take that man cannon and just basically trade out my life. If I don't think they're going to be there, I'll take it. But if I do think they're going to respawn and be able to kill me. I'm not going to take the mannequin in, right? So basically, those are all the tips I can give you guys on Narrows, TS, Narrows, Team Slayer. If you have any other in-depth questions, uh, leave them in the comments below, and I will get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much, and have a great day.